Hey everyone, Pupsker here. We have Barrow Katir. And if you didn't know, I think you should be able to go to your inbox and get, hey, he is on the straighter relay on Earth. Today we are checking out the random primes and unique items Barrow has to offer. Oh the brand now new item with great is a cosmetic, the Reshentur Child's Tablet. Cool. From there, we have like Fanged that, Fuselage. I would grab that because 120% slash is nice. I don't know if you can farm it elsewhere, but uh, without a doubt, Barrow Katir is the easiest place to farm a lot of things. So uh, grab that without a doubt. Slash rifle, go burr, would recommend. Ooh, a primed point blank on shotgun. This is obviously a must have because just straight up shotgun damage is very nice, especially if you're newer into the game. It'll just help a ton because, you know, flat damage is flat damage and it'll replace some other mods for you if you don't feel like using the lower tier damage mod. So yeah, as always like prime point blank would grab it anyways, but there's also other damage mods you can replace prime point blank with these days. So it's Surprisingly, it's not like it's as mandatory, but I'd still always pick it up because I'm lazy and I always still use prime damage mods. Machete Wraith. As you can see, it's a status with actually decent enough crit and it's mainly a slash, so Machete Wraith, still very good. Still would recommend you pick it up just because it is a good status melee. Random Katir Fireworks, purely cosmetic, just for fun, primed regen, pick it up even though sentinels suck massively because you might as well have it. If killer generates three times with 11% or sorry, 100% max health, right? It's, it's something and I really wish Warframe does something to fix the sentinels and like companions issue of just being useless or only really being there to just revive or mess around because there's too many companions that just kind of exist there for high level gameplay and you no one really cares about them but whatever i think right now everyone's memeing shade prime because of hildren rip then we have mark of the beast on six melee kills within six seconds get a bunch of status and crit chance for your secondary weapon this is good if you like that sort of like play style it's definitely more of a niche and unique type of mod because you very specifically are running a throne melee and you're running that around and then swapping to your secondary so it is a niche mod i would pick it up i don't use it but pick it up for sure next we have a mantis prisma skin which is pretty nice we have the katir earpieces which are, you know, cosmetics, cosmetics. We have the Sentinel Tail, which looks terrible on this dude, but oh well, there it is. Neo 01 Relic. So they have the Volt Prime Relic out here. So you get Volt Prime Systems, Volt Prime Blueprint. Uh, do they have the other one? Uh, it looks like just that one. So this is the Dominus Sci or Domus Cyandana. I'm getting too mixed up with Dominus Thrax. There it is, Domus Cyandana. I mean, I'd still pick it up. Next we have the Tigris Elixir skin, and it still looks cool. Maybe a little weird, but still looks cool. Opticor Vandal. So this is really good. I would definitely grab the Opticor Vandal from Barrow Katir as running the Fortuna like bounties for it. I can't remember what, what they're specifically called. The event bounties, right? For like the fishers. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So I would actually just pick up the Opticor Vandal here. As you can see the stats on the quick shot. Stats insanely high. Crit also really actually high. So not bad. Quick shot radial. Still really good, right? Stat is still 30%. Uh, same sort of stats. Same with charge shot. Damage just goes up a lot. So definitely would pick that up. Then you have another cosmetic landing craft. Cool, cool. You have your ornament here, which is, that's right, more decorations. Oh, and then we have the last like handful of stuff. Prisma Latrin shoulder plates. They look nice. I like them. You have the Latrin like chest plate, right? Because this kind of goes with this. And then you have the legs, right? Look at that. Ah, oh, you did it. The power of teamwork and friendship. God, I should go take a nap. Fast floof. Just kidding. I woke up only to make a Barrow Katir video, and then I'll be playing Destiny 2 later as I watch people attempt and fail the raid. It'll be interesting. Fast floof. And then we have, ooh, dual sword. These are actually really cool, like dual sword skins, dual weapon skin. Dual sword Lemnus skin. I myself really like these swords. Yep, they're nice. And then you have the Gara Immortal skin. 
eh, I don't really care about this one. But, I mean, if you like Gara and you like the skin, go for it. Once you uh, change around the coloring, add some fashion, looks a lot better. So, next we have the Fey Path Ephemera. So, this kind of has, like, little sprites and some just tree that kind of throws around your feet. It looks pretty cool, but it's not, like, a massive ephemera. So, keep that in mind. And then, lastly, you have Sands of Inaros Blueprint. Which, if you didn't know, that is a quest for you to do Inaro shenanigans. But... Chat, if you didn't know, you can throw on Inaros Prime, and then you get special Barrow Katir voice line. Great Inaros. And Welcome. Barrow Void Signal. Grow bad, might we? This is just an optional mission for you to get like five cosmetic items and like some specters every week, but either way, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna be playing some Destiny 2 and Genshin until the Duvery Paradox update hits. Maybe I'll have uh, some random Warframe videos out, but I do appreciate everyone liking, subbing, and checking out any of my social medias in the description. I should be Pupsker on every website, so thank you so much. Epic Game Store creator code Pupsker if you do ever buy anything on the Epic Game Store, if you want to help support the channel. So thank you, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.